The best time to see the Quadrantes meteor shower is between 5 and 6 a.m. on Friday the 4th of January. Obviously, you don't want to be in a city or a town because there's lots of light pollution which could ruin any kind of nighttime viewing. Uh, the best, they say, is in the north or in the east of England. Um, you really want to be looking to the north-northwest of the sky. Now, this could be quite difficult if you haven't got a compass, so the easiest way to look out for it is to look, try and look out for Ursa Major or the kind of Big Dipper as more people know it. Now you should see, hopefully, it's called the Radiant Point, but this is where the meteorite should be seen streaming from. So that's kind of, to give you a kind of point of reference, it's between that and this other area called Draco, the Dragon. So between Ursa Major, Big Dipper, and Draco should be roughly in between. I know I'm flashing my hands here randomly around, but between those, you should hopefully see the meteor shower radiating from that point. So there's three major meteor showers every year, and this is the first of the year. It comes around every year between the 2nd and the 4th, sometimes at the end of December, every year. And basically, it's the leftover remains of what we believe is a comet. So comets are shooting around the sun, they've got elliptical, kind of egg-shaped orbits. And basically, as they go around the sun, as they get closer, bits of them break off and trail behind it. Think of comets as the kind of debris left over from the making of the solar system. So it's all kind of, when you have a building site, you've always got sand and water and bricks all left behind. That's what comets and eventually asteroids are like. So basically, as they orbit around, stuff trails off the back and you get like a pathway left behind. As the Earth orbits around the Sun every year, it's going to travel through this debris. And basically, these are all just bits of kind of rock and ice. They're, they're tiny, really. There's some from the size of a grain of sand or no bigger than your fist, really. And they're shooting through the atmosphere. And because they're going so fast, around 70 to 90,000 miles per hour, which is a ridiculous speed, they burn up as they enter through the atmosphere. So you've all seen uh, the space shuttles that come through. You have to put, uh, they have to put heat-proof tiles on the bottom to prevent it burning up. It's coming in at such a tremendous speed. The same thing is with these meteorites. They've got, they're uncontrolled, though, so they come through and they burn up. All the debris shoots off, and that's what you see as your fiery shooting star.